Hey guys, uh, welcome to another OpenShift Spincast. So um, we've gone quite through a lot to set up OpenShift, um, basically, and there are easier ways of doing that, uh, basically. Uh, but I wanted to show you how to use the OO install command to kind of install it and kind of the quirks you will come across and how you fix it. Now. Uh, we've installed the application and uh, we've also installed OpenShift and you can see that uh, we have most of the cartridges installed but one thing I forgot uh, I'm sure it was an oversight was that uh, we did not install any Node.js um, <coughs> cartridge so what we need to do is to kind of uh, install the Node.js cartridge and I'm just going to go ahead and go into uh, you know uh, we need to install this on both nodes Remember, uh, I mentioned that uh, you need to have an equal count of uh, cartridges if you want uh, the broker to play nicely. Alright, so I'm just going to install the OpenShift. Uh, if you're wondering, you can use the search. I don't know the name exactly. Uh, OpenShift Origin Cartridge. So we'll search for that. Okay, so while that's doing that, let's go to the let's go to this as well. Uh, all right, so the search is complete, and we need to install the OpenShift Origin cartridge here. So we um, install uh, this, and we'll copy this and paste it in node two. Right, so this should go ahead and resolve all the dependencies and install um, Node.js. Okay, so the it has gone ahead and uh, installed some dependencies here. You can see um, Node.js 0 0.1.0, and installed the cartridge, installed the Node.js. Um, yeah, so um, like we did previously, uh, don't forget to um, import this into the broker and activate it. Uh, this is some new change that is happening. The recent brokers, uh, as you may notice, for those of you that have installed OpenShift previously or prior to this, uh, for this time. All right. So um, first of all, we need to uh, sort of like install the cartridge uh, because the cartridge will be there but might not be uh, available. So for instance, if I do uh, list, we might not see the uh, Node.js um, cartridge. So, uh, what we need to do is to use the old admin uh, cartridge tool this time around and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to install pack of type and we're going to use, um, you know, uh, recursively and we're going to specify a location, so live exec open shift cartridges and um, if this succeeded then our previous command should show the node.js uh, uh, you can see node.js 0.6 and 0.10 uh, as opposed to the previous uh, cartridge and on the broker uh, let's make sure we do that on the uh, anyway we'll just copy uh, this Okay, so also succeeded. So once we we've ensured that we have the same count for uh, the same cartridges, we can go to the broker and uh, we can use the old admin CTL cartridge uh, command again. And this time around, we're going to import node and we're going to import the OpenShift node one again. Uh, Against anyone actually if you like so we're just importing the nodes uh, this is just to uh, give us the updated uh, cartridges that we have in, um, that we've installed All right so yeah you can see that uh, it has updated the cartridge list and we've uh, installed two cartridges and we're going to use the old admin uh, CTL cartridge command again uh, this time around we're going to activate uh, using the IDs uh, so if you remember we had to do this uh, previously so 
they should go ahead and activate the cartridges and make it available uh, to our web console and our REC tool. Right, so uh, for some reason did not read this, so let's see why. Uh, maybe because I have had a space. So these are some uh, minor quirks uh, you might get into. Uh, in this case, uh, so it activated the Node.js 0.6, and uh, now it needs to activate the 0 0.10. Right, so it's successful, and uh, now if we refresh our page, we should get the uh, Node.js 0.6 and uh, 0.10. Also, one thing I want to um, attempt uh, here is to install the. Um, if you notice, we have the MySQL cartridges, which are available as embed cartridges, so they don't show up here. Uh, but when you select uh, an application that uses uh, the, or that can use any of the cartridges, then they will show. Up, um, there. So I want to install the uh, MariaDB database. Uh, uh, the MariaDB database. So for some reason, it's not available in the in the Node.js or in the um, dependency tree for OpenShift. Uh, but there's also a you know still on the uh, OpenShift site. Uh, there's uh, an addition there for CentOS. Uh, because we're using CentOS 6.5 or CentOS uh, 64 bit, uh, we can go ahead and use this. Um, yeah, so once once we do that, um, we can go ahead and experiment. We can add this. Okay, uh, can add this as a repo. So uh, again, to add an entry here, and we're going to call this. Uh, yeah, maybe you can call this. Uh, uh, Maria, Maria repo, and uh, this is just going to be, uh, you know, it's just going to point to the repo that we have. So, right. So once we do this, uh, let's search for the OpenShift origin cartridge. Right, so this should give us a list of uh, all the cartridges. Right, so while this is uh, working, let's switch to node 2. And... Okay, so we want to update this with the path. Okay, so apparently I lost the Clipboard selection, select it in. Right, so updated the Mario repo, and this time around, I um, want to try the, the Mario DB cartridge. So let's see if this will resolve the dependencies. happens uh, that's fast enough to give us the update all right so for some reason the, the dependency is still broken uh, you can see here package MariaDB Mario server uh, will be installed but uh, MariaDB uh, sort of like it's not uh, going to be installed and uh, we can go ahead and actually kind of um, uh, Tweak the RPM to uh, kind of disallow just the Mari to be developed. Uh, anyway, so um, that was that was an attempt. We can go ahead and of course keep the broken packages if you want, but you know you don't want to do that because then of course it's going to affect your installation. All right, so if I have a better way of doing that, I'll come back and uh, you know kind of update um, you guys on how to uh, go ahead and install that. And if uh, there's a need for me to create an RPM. Um, kind of for the uh, MariaDB installation, um, I'll be glad to do that. So uh, hopefully this uh, this video has uh, 
Minecraft 41 of the things and uh, installing the uh, Node.js um, cartridge and also uh, a uh, uh, field attempt to install uh, MarioDB. Alright, so if you have any comments, suggestions or ways we can also install this, uh, please let me know in the comments. Uh, we can go ahead and roll up a video to show that as well. So, um, see you in the next video and thanks for watching.